All right, this is Johnny Bergen with another Chicago Blues Guitar Lesson, talking about a really great unsung hero of blues guitar today, Frank Craig, left hand Frank. What a great player. Born in 1935 and passed in 92. Doggone it, just missed him. Wish I could have seen him in person. Um, master of the open strings, especially in the E position. The stuff that he did, Living Chicago Blues, 1978, Volume 1, on the Alligator label is just tremendous. You've got this chord here, the chord that we all know from Muddy Waters and stuff, 4, 3, 4. Everybody knows that, but did you ever do all this? Let me try that again. you got your pinky there in the 5th fret and then 4th fret. That's cool. And then going on to, I'll explain that a little bit better. And then open with just the uh, fourth fret on the G string. Fourth fret on the E string, open. And then your first finger is just waiting to go back there in the third fret of the B string. At least that's as best as I can figure it. And then we're on the four chord. So he's playing just like Magic Sam and uh, Sweet Home Chicago, but this is a this is kind of like Sweet Home Chicago, but he really uh, has his own stamp on it. Try to use your fingers, or you can sort of use your finger and thumb. I mean, he used like all four fingers. He almost played like a banjo player or something, and that's beyond me, especially if I didn't see it. And um, please, guys, if you saw Left Hand Frank, you have any insights in his playing or his personality, anything like that, I would love to hear about it. See how that note just sits there? It doesn't do anything except sit there. Its power is already there, so don't do anything to it. Ah! Now we're back to the one. Then you gotta play along. I mean, this is a, a great song to learn where it's like he's always coming at you with something. He's coming at you with a lump or something in the middle, like, or something on the top. That's what he did. See if you can make that feel like a march. He just has the greatest lumps. And like when he goes to the four, he goes. He doesn't just go. He goes ba ba boom ba boom ba boom ba ba da da da. You know. And then on the five, he'll go. He'll play the low F sharp, and just lump the whole chord like that. And then he would walk up on the four. And then he goes da 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 <laughs> up and down like the good thumbnails, um, fingernail thumbnail sound like that. So here we go again. Did sort of make it choppy like that. Tells the band, "Come on, dude, let's go!" Right. And then on the five, he does something cool. Cool. See that little tug there just to make it a little bit sour? This is a nice way to break up maybe if you're in some, you know, familiar patterns all the time on the five. This is pretty different. Think about it as like a D shape over this. B note, right? You don't have to play that, just think it. So that's two, open B string, three, and then two on the E string, and then use your second finger to slide into the sixth fret, and then fifth fret, G and B string.
Yeah, and he's awesome at these turnarounds. The turnarounds, they just come at you. It's kind of like, you know, that moment in The Stumble by Freddie King where he goes... I wonder if Left Hand Frank, like, I don't know, there's some at least some symbiosis there or something. I wonder, you know, if there was some connection between Freddie King and Left Hand Frank. There had to be. You're on your own with the fingering. Do the best you can. You can use two fingers like... Or thumb, thumb, finger. That actually sounds pretty good. This is pretty typical, right? Five and four, A and G strings. Blues. Got me talking on. And he's off to the races. All right, here's the first part of his solo, I hope. basically pretty good. All right, I'm going to try the second part of the solo now, and I'm really going to make it ring. I'm going to try to make it ring. That's kind of the trick. That's really cool, and I love that cherry on top at the end. That is a great ending, huh? Now all it is is... And this is all stuff you kind of know, but the way it's put together and the sort of uh, inexorable power of it all is really great to me. So let it ring, and I like this part. This is just so heavy to slam down into the one. Notice no vibrato, all the open string exploitation there. Great stuff. I could go on and on about them, all the amazing guitar heroics of the left hand Frank, but um, I would be really remiss if I didn't talk a bit about Wonder Country Shack, which he has 12 bars of a solo, kind of like a Magic Slim solo, but even heavier. And the main thing about this is no vibrato, and there's a lot of interesting spacing going on. You know? It has these kind of ingredients, you know. Um, I'm not going to go through that note for note, but it's well worth like listening to and really trying to uh, get into it. He has this cool way of sliding into his most dramatic notes like this. Kind of like that. Then he does these amazing chords like this. That's pretty amazing. So everyone knows this. But the way he plays it and the heaviness of it is just remarkable. He goes. Which is unique, I think, this. It's like a suspended and then resolution, 12th fret and 11th fret of the A string. And then 11th, 12th fret of the D string. And then. It's kind of like a Lewis Myers uh, chord, 
Gosh, it's like if the prettiness of Lewis Meyer's chords met up with the power of Magic Slim, maybe you'd have something of a left hand Frank, but I don't know. That's just the way I think about things. Unique, man. So I walked up to the uh, four or five, six. You end up there with your second finger. So you're ready to do this. I got my fifth finger here. Or what am I saying? Let's try that again. You could use three fingers like this. So you have six G string, eight B string, and it's type of ninth chord. It's it's like a ninth chord like this or like this. The chord in Tanya. I'll do one more thing real quick, which is jamming with Frank, which turns out it has Michael Mudcat Ward on it, um, who's still around playing great today in the Boston area. I mean, even when he's doing like such a like a real typical shuffle, he has his own way of doing things. You know, and then this is in uh, A. Yeah, um, it's just amazing what he does. So uh, check out his stuff with Jimmy Rogers on JSP, and it got reissued recently. Um, forget the label called the Dirty Dozens. It's got uh, Baby Please on there and all this wild guitar. Sometimes it's hard to tell who's uh, who's Jimmy Rogers and who's, and who's Left Hand Frank. But when you hear this, or you can uh, bet that's Left Hand Frank. So uh, anyway, I'd love to hear your stories about Frank Craig. Do stay in touch. Join me on Patreon for weekly guitar chats. I'll be back from Japan uh, in a few days, and we'll get right back into the chats. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. Tell your friends. Keep picking and see you next time. Ah!